Hey, I'm Skip Bedell. Welcome to the Palisade Tub Surround Installation Video. Now today we're talking about installing Palisade tiles. Now these tiles are the perfect tile for your DIY installation because they're waterproof, mold and mildew resistant, and they have a super easy DIY installation with their interlocking tongue and groove system that requires no mortar and no grout. Now the best part about these tiles is that they can be installed over drywall, cement board, or even your existing tiles. So before I get started showing you how to install these tiles, let's talk about some of the tools you'll need to get the job done right. To cut the Palisade tiles, you can use a circular saw, a table saw, a miter saw, or a jigsaw. And to cut around plumbing fixtures, you'll also need a drill with a bit and or a hole saw. And be sure when you're using any of these power tools, always wear protective eyewear. Now, if you don't have any of the power tools, you can easily use a utility knife to score and snap the tile. You'll need a caulk gun to apply the adhesive and sealant. There are several types of adhesives available on the market. You can visit Palisade Tiles website for more information on how to choose adhesives and sealants for your project. You'll need a square, chalk line, tape measure, pencil, and a level. Okay, so we're about ready to get started with the installation inside this shower enclosure. And as you can see, it's a little bit different than a typical shower enclosure in that we have a window here in the back wall on a small shelf. But regardless, it's still a typical shower enclosure in that we have a long wall and two short walls. Now again, the beauty of the Palisade tiles is that you can install it over just about any product drywall, your existing tile, or cement board. Now in this particular installation, we had to take out some of the old tile that were falling off the wall and not in good shape. We addressed some of the plumbing and we recovered this with cement board and then coated this with a polymeric coating, which is like a rubberized coating, giving us a nice clean surface. And that's a really important point. Regardless of what you're installing the Palisade tile over, it has to be clean and dry and dust free and smooth. You want to make sure that your walls are plumb and that the surface is level before you get started. Now Palisade makes a couple of different types of trims available as well for your installation. They make an inside corner trim like this one here, which is a track that receives the tile on both sides. Now you don't have to use this for your installation. You can butt the tiles right into each other, but if you do decide to use the track, you wanna go ahead and glue that up in advance and let the glue dry like I did here before you start your installation. Now we can determine the layout of the tiles, whether we're gonna install them vertically or horizontally. So the beauty of the Palisade tiles is that it has an interlocking channel around all four sides, which allows us to put the tile in a vertical position, or we can install them horizontally in a brick, subway, or stacked one over the other pattern. Now it's really important that the top line of this first course of tiles is perfectly level because that's gonna give us a level design all the way up the wall. So the next step we wanna do is go ahead and make sure that we have a level surface to work with here. And as you can see on our tub, it's actually very nice and level. Now, if your tub installation, the surface is not level, you may have to take off some additional material on the bottom of these tiles before you start installing them to make sure that the top line is level. So now that we know that we're level and the top is level, we can go ahead and mark the top of this tile and know that that's gonna be our level line. Now we'll take our level and create a level line around the whole shower at that height. And that's gonna give us a level line to work off of for the design all the way up the wall. So now that we know that we're doing a stacked layout, meaning there's gonna be one tile over the other, we wanna go ahead and measure the wall and find the center of the wall from left to right. We'll go ahead and mark that on the wall. So this is gonna be the exact center from left to right. Then we can mark the tile and find the center of the tile and we're gonna line those marks right up. So now that this tile is centered, we can take our measurement from the left side and the right side, and we can see that they're equal. Measure from the inside lip of the previously installed tile to the inside edge of the previously installed trim. And as you can see here, we also have a notch cut we have to make on this right side tile. So we're gonna go ahead and take these measurements, 
take them outside, transfer them to the tile, we'll cut them on the saw, and then bring everything back inside and dry fit it before we install it. Now, you might have to trim the bottom of the first course of your tile, and it's important to know that before you get started, there's a flange part of the tongue and groove system around these tiles, and for the first course on the bottom, you wanna go ahead and take a utility knife and trim off that bottom flange so the tile can sit down flush right onto the deck of the shower the tub. Now that we have our pieces cut to size, it's really important that we dry fit them before we glue everything to the wall permanently. So we want to take our first piece and slide it into the channel, this inside corner trim, and it's going to go all the way into the track as far as it'll go. Okay, so now you can see we're on our top level line. Now we're going to take our next piece, lay it down flat, and you can see these joints locked together nice and tight. Now we'll take our final piece and we're going to again fit this all the way into the track. You can see there's a space here that's going to allow us to pull this back and lock this joint together. Now we can slide the whole pattern into place on our center line. Make sure that everything is nice and tight on the bottom. And one last time, we're gonna confirm that our top line is perfectly level. Now, as you can see, this is perfectly level. And this is a critical move right here. You have to make sure that this first course all the way around the whole enclosure is perfectly level. Because if that's level, that means our installation is gonna be level all the way up the wall because everything is gonna sit on top of this first course. So now that we can see that everything fits properly, it's nice and level, we can go ahead and install them permanently. Before applying any adhesive, you wanna make sure that you wipe down the back of the tiles and they're free of any dust or any debris from the saw. Apply a quarter inch bead of glue around the perimeter edge of the tile and then go back and fill in the middle with an M pattern. Now that I have the adhesive applied, it's ready to install. So we wanna take the tile and fit it into the inside corner trim all the way inside and then press it firmly down to the surface of the tub, applying firm pressure all the way around the tile. Now we can see where our line was from the edge of the tile. We can pull this back into place and get back on our mark for the edge of the tile. Now that I've got the tile glued to the wall, it's time to put the silicone sealant on this interlocking joint. So you can put a thin bead of sealant along this joint and this is a really important part of the process because this is gonna make it watertight at this interlocking joint. With our first tile in place and the sealant applied to the interlocking edge, it's time to glue the next tile to the wall. So we're gonna put it down to the surface of the tub, press it against the wall and press into the joint, connecting this joint and sealing it. Apply firm pressure to the tile and make sure it's tight down to the surface of the tub. Our joint is nice and tight together and we're on our level line. Now we come to the last tile in the row. So this process is a little bit different than the others in that we're gonna apply the adhesive to the wall rather than the back of the tile. And that's gonna make it easier to put it into place and then pull it back into the joint. So we'll stick within our lines right there that we can see on the wall and apply our adhesive directly to the wall. We can go ahead and place our last tile inside the track, press it against the wall. Now that we have the tile pressed into place and it's on the wall, you can see the joint is a little bit open. So here's where we're gonna wanna take our hands and pull it back in to close that joint up. That's gonna seal the silicone sealant. We have it glued to the wall. And now we're gonna put our whole design back in place, being mindful of our lines where we wanna be. After the first tile is glued in place, apply a recommended silicone sealer to all the tongue and groove joints. Don't skip this part as it is very important in making sure the wet environment stays waterproof. Now we're ready to begin our second course. I've got the first tile glued, and just like the first course, we're gonna fit it into the track, slide it down to lock the joint. 
giving us a nice tight fit here. You might need to take a wet rag and wipe off any excess sealant that gets squeezed out of the joint. So make sure this joint is nice and tight. Now slide the tile into place and make sure all the seams line up. Now we're gonna repeat that process, put our next tile in place, and you can see that makes a nice, tight, waterproof joint there. Take your wet rag, wipe off any excess, and always be mindful that all of these seams line up as you go. I've got three full courses of tile installed here, and as you can see, I've come to a point where I need to make some cuts. Now, most showers don't have a window in it, but this particular one does, so we'll have to cut around the window. It's easy enough to do. We're gonna go ahead and make some measurements from the track to the inside edge of the window, and the same on the height, just like we did with the other tiles. We're gonna take those measurements outside, transfer it to the tile. We'll cut the tiles on the saw and bring it back in and dry fit them first before we install it. When you get to the top course, you may have a small piece that you have to rip on the top depending upon your measurements. So we're gonna install this tile. And as you can see, there's a small space up on the top here. You may have to rip another piece of tile to fit in there, or you can cover it with a piece of decorative molding. I've got the biggest of all three walls done, and as you can see, it looks amazing. I still have some trim pieces to do on the inside of the window, and we're gonna make some rips over here on this side. So to minimize waste, we'll use the scraps from these cuts to trim the window, and right now we're gonna move on to the right side wall. Now that we've completed this wall, I'm gonna move over to the left side wall, and as you can see, we have some plumbing to address. So just like starting the first course on this side and the other side, we have to make sure our bottom is level, which we checked and it is perfect, so we have a good level surface to start from. And then we're gonna make some measurements to these pipes and show you how to make these holes. So the first thing we wanna do is measure the distance to the center of this pipe from the track. And as you can see, we have 13 inches to the center. Then we're gonna measure up from the bottom to the center of the pipe, and we have six and three eighths. So now we're gonna take these measurements I'm going to transfer them to the tile. So we're going to come in 13 inches and make a mark. And we're going to come up six and three eighths and make a mark. And we'll take our square and that's gonna be the center of our hole. So we'll take this outside, use our drill bit or a hole saw, make the hole for this pipe and come back in and fit this first tile. Now we got our hole made. I'm gonna go ahead and dry fit this before we apply any adhesive. So we wanna stick the end in the track, all the way in the hole. Make sure that we're level down to the deck and we're level on top, and we got a perfect fit. Now we can go ahead and apply the adhesive and sealant. So I have a full tile installed here, and the layout worked out perfectly because our plumbing is right center in the middle of the tile, giving us a small piece just over six inches, and we'll use the cuts from the other tiles to go all the way up the wall. So it'll make this easy for the layout. It'll be full tiles all the way up on the wall, and then we'll come back and we'll make the six inch cuts and do that outside strip. Now most shower and tub enclosures don't have a window in it. Most are standard 60 inches long on your back wall and two short walls on the side. But this particular installation today, we do have a window that we're gonna have to cover with tile. We can do that quite easily using the Palisade tiles and ripping them to small pieces on the table saw, but it's important that we get those measurements first. So I like to do the outside wall completely first. And the reason for that is we want to let that glue set up and then we have an exact measurement. So when we take our tape, we can now measure from the inside of the window right to the outside edge of the installed Palisade tile. As you can see, we get a nice crisp measurement. This inside window has already been waterproof. Now, if you're going to put your Palisade tiles over a new construction, you wanna make sure you take all the necessary steps required to waterproof this inside enclosure first before installing your tile. Now I can transfer all these measurements to my Palisade tile and cut them very easily on a table saw. Now that we have our surfaces dry and clean and dust free, we can go ahead and apply adhesive. Now you can put the glue on the tiles itself or on the substrate. Either way, they'll both work. You wanna make sure you get good adhesion. Now we're ready to glue up the first piece. 
I like to start with the top piece. And this is important that the surfaces line up flush with each other. We want the inside tile here to line up flush with the outside tile. This way we can cover it easily with our corner trim. So we'll press it into place. And if you need to, you can take some painter's tape and tape this top part that's upside down up for a few minutes until the glue sets up. And now we can go ahead and glue up our next piece of tile. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my adhesive to the sill itself. And I'm gonna build up a heavy bead on the back side as we want to get some pitch on the back of this tile. And then we'll run glue up along the front edge. And we'll install our tile and put it into place, making sure again that our edges are lined up and nice and straight. We have a slight pitch on the tile right now so water will drip off to the front. And now that the window tile is complete, we can now move on to adding the trim. Palisade has matching trims for every tile color offered, so you get a clean, unified look with your shower installation. An L trim is one of three types of trims offered to match the Palisade tile finishes. L trims are used to cover existing exposed tiles. Like the letter L, they're designed with one edge longer than the other. On this project, we want to finish off the edge that includes the old tile that we're not removing and the new Palisade tiles that are going over it. The extra length of this trim will work well in this situation. After you measure and cut the trim to the desired length, dispense a thin bead of adhesive to the substrate side. And then dispense a thin bead of sealant to the Palisade side of the trim. Now press the trim into place. If the trim doesn't stay in place, you can use some masking or painter's tape to hold it into place until the adhesive dries. Be sure to go back and seal all corners, edges, and gaps with silicone. And there you have it, a full tub surround installation using Palisade tiles. Now for more information on all of their great products along with a full installation guide, check out their website at palisade-tiles.com.